everyone. Um, sorry, it's starting a little bit late. I had to, you know, exit the live chat so that I could attend to my baby, the life of a mom. Thank God for the blessings. So, how are we doing today? I am so, so excited today because of the topic fear is not your future thank you olamide for joining i be pleased thank you for joining god bless you guys so today i have an informal speaks and we are just going to dive right into the live session i mean there are a million and one reasons why you should leave a situation if it's not serving you it's not just until you are a woman or until um you are being abused or whatever you know there are a million and one situations that could happen so we are not just talking about oh women should uh, leave marriages or just you know no no misconstrue the whole essence of this show is to bring life and to bring hope to people and to give some form of direction so that everybody can be in a safe place and be able to live their full potential. Because at the end of the day, everyone's got their lives to live. So if you're a woman and you suffered some form of trauma, some form of setback, some form of rejection, dejection, and you feel like nothing is working for you, there is hope for you. You can live to live again you can live to live again so while we're waiting for our guest i am just going to you know speak from my heart thank you yinka for joining and um hope you're doing great so basically woman fear is not your future fear is not your future you can live to live again you know I remember one of the videos that um, I shot with my mom about our, polygamous, um, our father's polygamous house experience and how she had to fight through and be able to come out triumphant, you know? Those are the kind of situations whereby women have felt like, oh, they are sending boys to school while she, while, a, while she, you as a woman feel, they tell you like, oh, you're not good enough, that or it's only the boys that would go to school you know those kind of situations whereby the society has made you feel any less than you should feel those are the situations we are talking about if they're asking you what you bring to the table <laughs> it was probably about time that you go create your own table and be the one that is setting the tone for what's going on so basically Fear is not your future. If you are on that job and they refuse to promote you and they refuse to give you your worth and you have the opportunity to move on, don't stay in a position that does not serve you. Don't stay in a place where you are not appreciated. One thing I always tell people is I only go to where I am celebrated. If I come to you or I'm in the midst of you and it feels like there is some form of beef that I don't understand, I'll leave because I've got my life to live. You get what I mean? So, we should always find places where we thrive and not where we are condoned or where we are, um, what's it called, managed. Go to where you are celebrated. If you are, if they are, if you are not being celebrated at work, at home, at speak up and let your worth shine through. And let what you desire shine through. At the end of the day, everyone has been through one form of trauma or the other. But what's important is for us to continue, you know, to live again. You may fall seven times, seven thousand times. But the strength is in that you keep rising up. The strength is in that you keep getting up and never back down. Never letting any, anything keep you down. Never letting anything keep you down. There are signs that one should look out for. 
there are things that you should know that are not right for you and those are the things that we're going to be talking about tonight things that you should not overlook things that <laughs> you know that this is already a handwriting on the wall so you are better you know pick race and start walking you know better pick race and start running and just move and vamoose and just leave because at the end of the day you have a great destiny don't let anyone destroy the destiny that God has given to you don't let anybody destroy the destiny that God has given to you so in this day and age whereby we are seeing different things on social media you remember um, that woman that gospel singer Sinachi you know that just you know died for no reason there was no reason for that woman to have died but because of what would people say because of society because of I don't even know what to call it and at the end of the day she's gone I don't even know what became of her husband I don't know what became of her children but those are the issues I still read you know in the news today about the Nigerian man that you know is it shot his wife dead in America or something like that I mean it didn't just start you know when when the gunshot happened it must have built up you know continuously till it got to the point whereby you know the signs are always there and we need to be very 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 alert and take care of ourselves you are your own first responsibility you have responsibility to yourself to fulfill your destiny, to know what your destiny is, to know what God sent you to the earth for. You have a duty to yourself. Because when you get to heaven, God will not ask another person for the assignment that he sent you to do. It is you that would have to give an account of what you did with the life that he gave to you. Hi, Anifome. Please send me a request um, to join. You know, so it's not left to you. It's your. It's you. It's uh, at the end of the day, everything rises and falls with you. What have you chosen to do with your life? Everything is all about decisions, and in decisions, you know, errors that you cannot correct. A lot of errors that you cannot correct. So. Let's remember that if a situation is not serving, we can leave to leave again. And for me, I'm accepting your request to join, but I don't know why it's not bringing you up. I've accepted this technology sometimes. So, well, you know. Any for me, are you there? Okay, all right. Go off and come back again. So, we need to remember that we are all precious in the sight of God, and we all have great destinies, and we all have a huge purpose. We all have a huge purpose. That is not tied to marriage, that is not tied to children. Everybody's race is individual. So you cannot blame other people for choosing not to see the value in you. The first person that should see the value is you. So if you don't see the value in yourself, how can others see the value in you? So you need to learn to value yourself. You need to be able to know what you are worth. You need to be able to understand how does God see you? In what light does God see you? What has he called you to be? You need to know all of that. Because when you know all of that, then you will be able to know when something is not working and when you need to cut it off. There are a million and one situations women traumatized rejected dejected shamed you know it's crazy I, 
I remember the story in the Bible whereby they brought a woman in front of Jesus and said she was caught in the act of adultery. And the, and the question is, was she committing adultery by, with herself? Why was she the only one that was brought and, was, and she was brought by men? You know, it's a, it's crazy. It's 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 infuriating. But those those you can imagine those this kind of things have been there since time of old, since the time of Jesus, since before Jesus. And we are still having you know those kind of situations up until the twenty first century. So and I don't think it's ever gonna go away. So it is left with you to choose your worth, to know that you are a person of value and that you didn't just come to this world to fill space. God had a purpose in mind for you. God had a huge purpose in mind for you. I don't know. I've invited any former again to join. Hi, Lillian. Thanks for joining. Oh, finally. <laughs> give, me, give me Cleopatra vibes. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving me Cleopatra vibes. <laughs> hey sis, how are you? I'm well. You're looking good. You're Thank you. And you too. You uh, uh, you're looking glorious. Oh my gosh. Hey. How far now? How is everything? Hope you've had a good day. Yes, I have. Hi uh, sis. Yvette Baker on the line. I see Dylan Cake. That's my sister. Hi. Oh, wow. That is it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you, everyone that is joining us live and everyone that is going to watch this later. We appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. So, any fire, <laughs> any baby, any fume. See, I'm psyching you. I want you to bring all those fire and brimstone and all those dragon fire that you used to spit. Eh? I want you to you know, scatter everywhere. Don't mind me. I'm just being dramatic as usual. <laughs> but really, really, any for me. Who are you? Tell us about you. Who is any for me? Your background, you know, um, early years, education, but just you know, so that our people just even know the the special spec that I've brought on life lessons with Cambodian today. Over to you. Huh? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, Thank all, you, Dali Cake. First of all, right, I'm I'm God's handmaiden. That's Hallelujah. Just, that's just who I am. Um, at the core of my life is God, and um, I think at the core of of my existence is reformation and transformation. Mm. So, Hallelujah. If you are gonna you are gonna describe me to anybody. You're gonna describe me as a reformer, a transformer, a solution provider. Mm. A, you know somebody who helps people find their way somebody who helps people find their path somebody who a life giver basically mm. a life giver i i i appear and life appears and appear mm. and solutions appear and appear and you know broken things get fixed it's just that's just just me and that's that's the very presence that i have i fix things i help things get better i help people get better I give life mm -hmm. to people, events, and organizations, and that's not just a cliche statement. It's it's really who I am, basically. Mm -hmm. My background. Mm -hmm. What kind of background do you want to know in this life? Because the, the, my background is very, very, it's very mush, plenty, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, if you mean educational background, I studied civil engineering, mm -hmm. and so I actually am a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have background in information uh, systems technology and all of that. But I've always been a talk talk a speaker. Mm -hmm. you know, let me say, uh, let me start from talk talk because your mm -hmm. gift, God gives you a gift, and then you you now learn about your gift. You go take your gifts back to the person that gave you that gift mm -hmm. to ask him why did you give me this gift, and he begins mm -hmm. to show you the reason why he gave you the gift, the reason mm. why you are that kind of person. So initially, mm. you know, you've been known as a talk talk now. And then later on, I, I went from talking to speaking, but I just knew that anything that had to do with 
I wasn't the kind of person you can put down, you can just put on under your armpit or mm. hide somewhere. I'm always at the forefront, even as far back as primary school. I'm the child that will ask questions. I'm the child that you cannot keep silent. Mm. I'm the child that I don't understand. Oh. I must ask. If I don't know what's going on, I'll say, what is going on? I will ask. You know, it got me to trouble quite a number of times. Mm. But, but it was, looking back, that's, that was all, those were all the pointers that this is one woman that carries a fire mm. that cannot be extinguished. Of course, life mm. has tried to extinguish that fire a lot of times. But but the fire cannot be extinguished because it's full of mm. calm, you know. <laughs> and, I love that. Calm. It's full of calm <laughs> and it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. so the level of work, the level of assignment, the level mm. of impact the level of of purpose mm. the pop the work that i came here to do the fire mm. preceded it because the fire is necessary to be able mm. to carry out that work so there yeah, that's just that's, that's just really me. Uh, what mm. else did you ask i'm not even sure i can remember <laughs> <laughs> so you know i think you were able to like um just give us a sneak peek about your your childhood you know how you've always been the person that speaks yeah. You've always been the bold type. Exactly. You've always been That's present. Right. When you step into the room, all eyes on me. Yeah. When I enter the party, <laughs> that kind of vibe. So, you know, I can totally relate with you because I grew up like that also. And it was always a problem for a lot of people, especially family members. Like, mm. this child is too bold. You need to caution her. You need to check in her. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't understand the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. Obviously. So if you don't know, understand why somebody is bold and assertive and they're able to speak their mind, you don't know where they are headed. Because if their mouth, if the tool in which they are going to use in front is, is dull and is not sharpened, Mm -hmm. How would they be relevant for where they are headed to? Okay. So I can totally mm -hmm. relate with everything that you have said. And the truth is that the society would always try to douse your fire. Okay. Especially once they see you are different yeah. and you stand out yeah. and it feels like you make everybody uncomfortable. Yeah, because when you are growing up, you might not know how to manage it to make other people feel comfortable around you. Yeah. But I think everybody, we should, we should normalize allowing ourselves to be different and express our differences because yeah. it's varieties that makes the world, you know, really beautiful. Variety is the spice of life at the end of the day. Wow. Yeah, it's oh, it's no. You just you even need to be different because every other person is taking. Yeah. Why do you want to be somebody else? Every other person is taking, so you don't need to be a photocopy of anybody. Exactly. God had a reason for creating you the way He created you, so mm. own it. That's beautiful. Thank you, Annie, for me. And so I was you know, checking you out online, you know, just <laughs> here and there, and then I saw the resilient coach, and I was like, woo, wow, woo. <laughs> you have to there has to be really be some you know some 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 things you know that has happened that got you to that point because i call myself a mind shift coach mm. you understand i am a mind shift coach because when i meet you i am able to move your mind from the point where you meet me to the next level whereby you are able to see the road clear your eye go clear mm. you understand that kind of thing yeah. so when you say you're a resilient coach please you know tell us what what are the things that drives an informant that makes her a resilience where does the resilience come from okay so i always say this right um resilience is anchored on faith mm. it's anchored on faith you, the level, the degree of faith you have would 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 be equal to the degree of resilience that you have. It's directly mm. proportional. Mm. So if you have, if you're the kind of person that you have very little faith, you are very easily um, um, moved by pressures of life. Mm. You easily get intimidated. You easily uh, cower away from challenges. You would mm. be a less resilient person. Mm. So uh, for me, I, I, I think I, like I said, I said the fire was for locum. So for the longest time, I've always been bold. And that boldness is not just in terms of speaking. Mm. Like they're looking for who to send to go and do something daring. It's me. If there's anything that, you know, I, I, I'm daring. So mm. if I can look at, you know how they say, don't look at an adult's eyes. I used to look at adults in their eyes. 
you know. <laughs> so all those fear was not part of my dictionary. I can my mom will send me on tasks that are for men. I will mm. go there, I will deliver. Mm. That is like I, I came with the mind of a warrior. Wow. So when I started to see challenges in life, started to see different things happen to me in my life, mm. and the challenges started from a very early age. As the mm. first girl, you know, they, you just realize that there's just a lot you have to deal with. And, and, and one thing I, I thought I was doing is I would do them. I, mm. I, I would run away. I mm. remember very vividly, there was a time I was uh, seeking admission and I'd mm. gone to Bielsa State. And wow. admission wasn't forthcoming. So I had to travel to Port Harcourt to my mom's friend's house to be there for a while. Mm. And she said, oh, um, she's going to the farm. And I'm like, farm? I've never been to farm before, but let's go now. I went. <laughs> I went to the farm. I would never forget. Mosquitoes were biting me. It was a very, very uncomfortable experience for me. But I was like, I beg, let's do this. You know, so after the farm, we harvested cassava. She showed me mm -hmm. how she was harvesting it. We finished from there. We went to the house. She showed, you know, we washed it. You peel it. You do like this and the whole mm. thing will come off. You, mm -hmm. you wash it and then soak it. And then before, mm. before, after everything, we went to grind it. She showed me how to put it inside the sack. So we did it together. Put the, what's it called? Tied it very, very well. Put sticks on it. Tied it with chain to extract the water. When we finished, we started fix, um, sieving it. Then it was time to enter the almighty Gary kitchen. And that kitchen is scary because you have to bend down to enter, and then there's a lot of smoke. But I was like, let's do this. I was there frying Gary with my eyes red and smoke. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We're gonna do wow. this because We're gonna do it. I have fried Gary before. I've learned how to fry Gary. So Honestly. I have this approach to life that that makes me. I just feel like if, if you're gonna just learn, you learn a new thing. Mm -hmm. you just you know go for it, and so that's just I I, I had I've always had a resilient mm -hmm. mindset, and so the resilience also came from several challenges. I've been through a lot, my dear sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. A lot mm -hmm. eh, is a lot. The mm -hmm. a lot a lot is very wow. hard. Let's walk across all workplace. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear you now. I've been yeah. through all sorts, from rejection to abuse mm. to to financial whatever. At the time, I lost everything, so I've mm. been through several mm. assorted. I call it assorted challenges. So <laughs> wow. I've been through a number of mm. a wide range of challenges. It has mm. also helped me build resilience. Challenges are like muscles. Mm. You know, when mm. you go through them, you get stronger mm. mentally, mm -hmm. internally, mm. and when you see it again or you see a similar one again you're like mm. where them where them bring them mm -hmm. where them they you know, mm -hmm. you're like okay wait see person never see before wait see so the challenge came from came mm. from you know different challenges but generally my makeup i'm a very daring person and also with my faith faith mm. has been able to anchor my resilience that there is nothing mm. that can happen to me that that will not work for me mm. good is is mm. to say is a knowing it's so ingrained in my mind that even the thing that did not <coughs> want to work for my good before it does not have choice it's work for me it does know that ah, for me has come but let's just cooperate and it's mm. work. disappointments you know things that normally would break a person i'm like mm. break okay. you you are working for my good and because mm. of that mindset i'm able to get the lessons there the the gold in the pain mm. it's just mm. so that's why i always teach women and especially women that go through difficult and painful situations that you, you mm. don't waste your pain god doesn't mm. waste pain, so don't waste channel it your pain is valuable your challenges are gold if you're able Speak, to sister. your mind mm. and, and someone can help you guide you and to see you know what you are not seeing mm. before you know what's happening you are cashing out literally and when i say cashing out i mean you, have, what you, physically cash and, you know you will live a better life you will live mm. a fruitful life you will live a fulfilled life if you are mm. able to just focus on the, the 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 right perspective the right perception the good in the bad there is always mm. good in the bad mm. no matter how bad it is mm. there is mm. always something to learn something that can benefit you in that difficulty mm. If only you're yeah. able to recalibrate and, and focus on the right things. So yeah, mm. that, that's really it. You know, what drives me is just knowing who I am and knowing why mm. I'm here. I'm not, mm. you cannot, if I come to your house, Queen Billion, if I come and visit you, I didn't just come to your house. Mm. I, I, 
I, I, I don't just, I'm not an ordinary human being. Mm. I, when I, if I come to your house, I mean, there's a reason I'm there. So because I, I'm, I'm yielded to God, anything that happens to me, anything that I, I, I involve myself in, there's mm. always a God, you know, there's a God reason. There's, there's, mm. okay, I'm here. So I'm, I, what drives me is knowing that I, I, I not just fall from the sky. Mm -hmm. I was predestined. I was mm -hmm. not say to whom he for new. I was for mm. predestined, right? Mm. I was carefully thought of. Mm -hmm. I, it's not a, I just a, ah oh I'm mm -hmm. here. No, not a mistake. That happened to me. Did mm. not just it didn't take God by surprise. They you breaking written. Do you understand? So everything about me has been crafted by my maker. So mm. what drives me is knowing that look, oh, I get back in. There's someone, mm. there's someone that is sending me. There's someone that is arranging mm. my script. Mm. So mm. if mm. I if I find myself in anywhere, how am I able to bring light to mm. that space, that person, mm. that organization? That thing drives mm. me. You don't even have to do too much. Mm. I am already. That's why people call me. They say I'm very passionate about anything I do. It's because what is driving me is from inside. Mm. There's, there's a knowing that look i am here to make this thing let's take it up up real quick like let's take it up a notch let's mm. remove this thing from zero to 100 that is why i'm here so that mm. thing drives me in my results in my interactions in my life generally i know that i'm here to add value to mm. bring solution to humanity and mm. that thing helps me and it keeps me grounded mm. so with what you just said now, if you were a car, what would you be? Hmm. If I was a car, what's the what's the most rugged car? Because I'm not really good with cars. <laughs> but because the way you said from zero to hundred, a Ferrari comes, a red Ferrari, <laughs> like zoom, 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 zoom. Things will work. Things hmm. need to work when I appear, and hmm. it's not a case of me trying to really do anything. Hmm. It's who I am. Mm hmm. If, 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 even if you are not put together, if I if I'm around you, you put you. I will gather you. You will be put together. You will just the the grace to be put together. The the it will come upon you. Mm. You know so. Hallelujah. So, so so yeah. So maybe think of the most rugged car, the car that is mm. beautiful mm. but rugged. That's beautiful. The kind of car that I have. That that that's that's really amazing. And you know, from what you said, resilience is a mindset. It's all, it's a state of yes. mind. It's a state of mind. And I was, um, you know, the, I, I think you were in ECCP court four. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, I was in ECCP, e ECCP court five. And one of the sessions that we had with FDR, he, he, he said, if what you make of your past is a case of, did it happen to you or did it happen for you? Yeah. How you see it, matters a lot exactly. it's all about perspective mm -hmm. if it happened to you then that's a negative noting but if it happened for you then you begin to see all of the good in yes. the bad and that is the way that you can create the right mindset and the right positioning yes. for whatever that life is going to throw at you mm -hmm. but if you see through a lens of ha they did bad me it has happened that yeah. kind of stuff if you go with the victim mentality you will be yeah, treated as a victim you know i always thought i always say that david killed goliath before he killed goliath it's, it's not a I want to, I want to kill Goliath. Or, he killed no. Goliath in his mind before he yeah. killed Goliath physically. So exactly. you have to understand that you are not you are a victor. It's mm. a no win. It's not a oh let me try and be a victor. I'm mm -hmm. a victor. So this thing happened to a victor. So because I'm a victor, say you know what whatsoever is born of, of God, God overcomes the world. The, world. the world is all encompassing anything mm. that happens to you in this world is part of the world and you have overcome Hallelujah. already so mm -hmm. it's not that you are trying to it's already mm -hmm. done it's just for mm -hmm. you to step into that knowing that look i'm a victim mm. nothing mm. can kill me nothing can break me down nothing can yes you can rest when you're tired because resilience is knowing when you two are tired you need to rest mm -hmm. knowing when you need mm -hmm. to, you need to you recharge continue, you know, you went, yes but that victim mindset of a moment mm -hmm. and death. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. Hallelujah. So, oh moving on to the next one. What are the red flags, you know, to look out for in a relationship as a lady that always want to leave and not stay? 
why red flags you know because the truth is that they are always there they are always there. it's either you are ignoring it or you know it is there and you still want to choke head yes so please educate us they are always there but i think on, on the top of the red flag if you are a christian if you mm. are a christian and you mm. should be a christian because there's not nothing else in this life that 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 secures your life like christ mm. um, you, we need to look out for the 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 fruits mm. the fruits the bible says that the fruits of the spirit is love joy peace those fruits mm. if they're not there and i don't mean you you know you cannot form fruits you can form <laughs> gifts you cannot form you fruits. grow it gifts mm. can happen fruits is inside is 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 inbuilt from life's life's lessons and life's process so for example you bear fruits. Like me, i i i wasn't a generally a patient person mm. um, growing mm. up but life made me like from things that happened to me in my life and me growing up mm. growing in god seeing things and becoming more mature in god i became mm -hmm. more patient because the spirit of god will help you to be patient mm -hmm. another thing is being compassionate i wasn't mm. a compassionate person mm. because I, i'm a no-nonsense person if you, do, if you, don't, mm. you can't do nonsense around me i'm like ah, get a grip of yourself you know i don't take nonsense so that's zero tolerance for nonsense made mm. me to be very hard and then growing up to in a military the background my military my father mm. was military he turned the place to, to military he, i went to military oh. school i grew wow. up in a military barrack wow. and i grew up with men wow. boys so that's i all hand treating mm -hmm. me like a you know you are a man some boy but treating me like mm. a man not mm. that, okay i'm a girl there's some things i cannot do allow me to you know so let me have my soft life your, your femininity your femininity yeah so that thing made me very hard so mm. god was the one through life's processes that mm. made me compassionate one of the mm. things that happened to me is that i fell into something i judge people for hmm do you understand? So wow. life will humble you. Not this is a pregnancy will humble you. Now so people's picture looking like what then looking. Mm -hmm. Life is the biggest humbler. Mm -hmm. So life humbled me, taught me, and got me the fruits that I exhibit. People are saying, "Wow, you for me, you're amazing." It is mm -hmm. the fruits from the process mm -hmm. being cooked by God, and mm -hmm. I call the dawn. Malabu. So when you meet a guy that has mm -hmm. not been cooked by God. Mm. Life, God has not used life this thing to, to fry that person to, 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 to refine you will see things like pride you see things mm. like you know all those things if you see mm. those things don't mm. say eh, it's because there's a way you know when mm. he wakes up there's a way don't try mm. to justify mm. my sister before they carry you go where you don't know <laughs> help me, help me, help me. Fruits, fruits, look out for fruits. Look out for fruits. By their fruits, you shall know them. them. He tested mm. and trusted gold. When God goes mm. through fire, it will be pure gold. So look out for what has this person been through? How far with his life? Like, check, 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 investigate. Look out mm. for fruits. Number two, if that mm. guy cannot allow you to be yourself. Mm. When I say mm. self, I don't mean number one. Self. I say this is how I am. Let me. I, I, no, I, no, 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 no. I talk anyhow. That's value I, always. That's not what value. He does not allow you to be yourself. Like mm. you cannot. If you like talking, say shut up. You talk mm. too much, or, or he will yeah. not talk to because he's trying to marry you. And I'll be like, uh, and keep quiet now, or what? He's not allowing you express. To yes. you, you are. You are like. You feel like you are in a box. You mm. have rules and regulations, you have a list mm. of things, you know, mm. sometimes you don't wear this thing. Ah, but I feel like wearing it. No, 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 don't wear it. all those. So it's it's this one all is all encompassing with the controlling mm. nature. Mm -hmm. If he mm. cannot allow you to be yourself, sister, red, in short, is there any, any color that is harder? Red? Amber. Uh -huh. Amber. The red means stop. Exactly. That's the flag mm. on God. Because in mm. marriage is a lot of work. You need to be able to be yourself. At least that's the least. That's it. Minimum. Now, you know, I'm, I feel free. Like mm -hmm. it's a lot of work. Ah. Like, so hmm. if you cannot allow you to be yourself, my dear sister, hmm. my dear sister, my hmm. dear sister, my dear sister, my dear sister, and run, hmm. right. So these are the hmm. top, top two things: fruits 
and then being yourself. Mm. Every other thing about being controlling, mm. all of that, mm. is mostly Falls found under. in that not allowing you be yourself. If mm. you can look out for these these two things, it's mm. it's it's going to help you. The fruits mm. do not lie, and and mm. by that I mean I've said I've explained all of that, and then the whole part of you know. Um, um be yourself is very important mm. if you cannot mm. be these two things it's a pointer to the other things you're going to find out later on mm. i'm telling you these mm. two are like top mm. top top mm. help you check and see things clearly and know okay i can't be mm. with this person don't wow. try to justify it don't try to justify mm. it if you, deserve, you deserve a man mm. that has fruits and mm. you deserve to be yourself these two things even if, like these two things are the least mm. you should mm. demand for it and if you don't see it sister it is not what it hmm. wow amazing and one thing that i would i also had to that was one of the things that um you know i grew up understanding is the fact that don't go with a man that is answerable to no one yes that, that, one that is answerable to no one that no that so happen. that nobody nobody can you know because um i i listen to some programs where by a woman will call in and say her husband is a pastor mm. but he's having behaviors that you can't even explain he doesn't have fruit yeah, he's, he's not allowing her to, her to be herself that's why i said that those two are the anchors because it's all part of fruit because think about yeah. it a man that cannot submit has pride mm -hmm. and pride is not if you have pride then you don't have fruit mm -hmm. because humility is part of the fruit now exactly exactly he mm -hmm. is proud he can't submit to anybody anybody be a problem for you that's mm. why i said those two are the anchors mm. all those mm. things are offshoots they are all mm. symptoms of a problem mm. because sometimes mm. we look for out for symptoms we don't look for mm. the root cause it's the root mm. cause that will sponsor the, the things you are now saying he doesn't mm. have humility because life mm. has not humbled him he doesn't mm. he has not been broken he hasn't been tested and mm. trusted by the by fire so he, mm. has, he, he has pride. No, who is that person? Who is this person? My dear, when life humbles you, mm. you're gonna you're gonna calm down. You're gonna calm. Down. You're gonna mm. calm down. You're gonna mm. have an authority because you cannot really be go through the fire mm. and God will not give you mentors and people ahead of you. It's not mm -hmm. possible. Think about it. Look at Esther. There was Mordecai. Mm. Look at everybody that made sense in life. Look at Sam. Um, what's his name? Mm. Samuel. There was the prophet. Mm. Look at everybody. Even da look at David. Everybody that you see that became anything in life, even so, yes, there is someone that was there to show them or guide them, or at some point just be there as a, a, a you know, a, a, a mentor or something. Mm -hmm. If that person does not have ah, mm -hmm. it's part of the, the problem I mentioned about food. The mm -hmm. person has not been, he never cook, he never done, never done, never, never done. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Exactly. So wow, that was that was that was you were spitting fire, sis. Fire, fire, fire. Please give me some fire emojis if you are on this live. As in give me some fire emojis. So this so this brings me so what what's your unique story? Hmm. What is your unique story? Like, you know, what because you know, I what led to us having this session was, you know, like you said, everything you do is with passion. And I just, you know, came across your WhatsApp status the other day and I was like, no, I need to bring you on Life Lessons with Queen Billion because there is a story here and there is a lesson here for someone out there. Even if it's just one person that God is making this August occasion to, oh, I mean, in August, hallelujah, <laughs> for this August occasion to happen, I am okay. So please, sis, tell us, indulge us, what is your unique story, you know? What, why, you know, like, what, what did you wish you knew about marriage before you marry? You understand? Like, what is your own unique story? Okay, so I, I have a lot of lessons from um, life as a single lady mm -hmm. because I learned a lot and I put them in a book. You can find mm -hmm. the book at my bio at Books by the for my dear singles. But on, on, I'm gonna mention just one of those lessons because they're quite, they're up to thirty. Mm -hmm. 30 lessons mm -hmm. in that in that book but i'll mention mm -hmm. it one of one or two of them but i'm gonna go back to my unique story mm -hmm. you know i mentioned that i was born bold born fiery born with fire born with that yeah. was gonna come. Mm -hmm. but like you know after a while i started to struggle with negative thoughts mm -hmm. and these negative thoughts came from people's reaction to me people's mm -hmm. people's um 
um, perception of me. Mm. You know how you were saying something about people telling you to keep quiet? Till today, if I find any parent, any adult, any human being that shouts down a child, me and you will have something. You are going to have to deal with me. You are mm. going to have to. I'm going to take it personal. <laughs> The reason is because I will take you. We want you. Ah, what my dear child? I say, no, no, that's not my child. Don't you? I don't allow it. Don't kill their fire. Don't, don't do that. Mm. So when I was growing up as a child, I told you everything. I was very bold, very this, and then of course you see, ah, you talk too much. Is it only you? Mm. Everybody else saw it. Why is it only you that's mentioned it? You know, and I started mm. becoming timid. Mm. I started feeling like, oh, maybe I'm not even beautiful mm. enough. I'm mm. ugly. All mm. those thoughts of, ah, you know, you're not, you, you're not really fine like that. Mm. Then before you know, I started having low self-esteem, mm. inferiority complex. Started feeling like, oh God, you'll see my life. Let me just, you know, all those things mm. now started happening to me. And I became very shy. I wow. became very timid. Can you believe it? Wow. This woman. Wow. I became, my mother, one day, she said, hey, Is it the same person that I ran away from literary week from stage that is now on stage doing all these things now? Wow. wow. God is amazing. You know, I was just, just laughing. Because mm. life, you know, when people don't understand your personality and they just feel mm. like, You're, you're, you're everywhere, you're too, you see they do. That's why mm. there's a particular day, one lady in my child's school, she said, oh, you have to buy this thing. If you don't buy it, other parents are going to buy it. You feel left out. I say, say what? You say, you, I say, I say, I am my normal habitat. You say, no, she said, you'll be, that left left out. Out. You'll be the first one. I say, eh? Oh, the fourth I mood. Know. I say, they never tell you. I'm mm. the odd one out. Sis. I'm mm. even okay. We've been the other one now. Yes, no. something else. Mm. But if, if, if that was before, mm. ah, would have been ah, like, instantly. Yeah, there was somebody beside that I was in a wedding and I was talking to someone. And one elder mm. woman just said, um, call her, call her, call her. I'm, I'm calling you. Ah, talk, talk. I said, I did not tell you. You don't know, ma. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm, I talk for a living. Good. I made her. You sound me. like Philandro today just now. <laughs> I talk for a living actually. Everything I do is around talking and speaking. talking. So I'm just practicing. So she felt <laughs> because she just felt that she felt stupid. That's the mm. word. Because she was mm. trying to do it like hey. And I told her, oh, I know. I know. So my, my 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 story in life is from a person that went from bold to timid that now re rediscovered herself because mm. Life, I told you, life did a lot of things. Even when I went through abuse, I went through mm. abuse and I became a zombie. Imagine wow. me that I would say I will ask questions, I want to know why I'm like, hmm, any, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I became a mute. Wow. I became a mute. That's why I, when I buy, I do, I have this thing I do, break the shyness challenge. I always ask, are you quiet or were you silenced? Mm. I always ask. Mm. Because People that think mm. people that think that they are quiet, that's ah, this is a person. It's not some of them. They are not quiet. Mm. They were silenced. Wow. wow. That's deep. Beings or by mm. life situations. Mm -hmm. Then let us just let, let, us, let us just be at the back. Whatever makes you to be at the back is not from God. I don't mm. care what it is. Mm -hmm. like English and the name you give. Mm. Mm. It is clear. Cannot light a candle and put it under a bushel. Under a bushel. It's not. You, it is, I'm, I'm a fire, I'm fire. You can't Why are they born goats? Why are you not created in the image of God? That's it. So hmm. anything that makes you to want to hide, let us be, hmm. there's humility hmm. and there is, there is no self-esteem. There is, hmm. I, I, I they know, are different. You know, make a just day for back, make nobody, yeah, eh. Yeah. Hmm. You need to, if you want to speak, open your mouth and speak. Speak in a way that is with power. Let your, let your speech be seasoned with salt. Don't bring down somebody. But don't don't be a person that you just uh, any you want to talk oh but you are, you you are be silenced. Mm. So so my life life took me through a a journey where mm. I had to realize that God gave me my mouth as a gift. God gave me this voice as a gift. My voice is my power, is my essence, is my if I if I lose my voice, mm. I have lost my life. It's better for me to just die. So, mm. so, so that, 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 that journey, right, of going through all of those things from bold to timid to rediscovery, this is who I was born to be. And I would mm. never, ever allow any human being silence mm. me. Take it away. And now, mm. I'm now helping other people 
who have also been mm. silenced to find a wow. voice to be able to speak up to 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 understand that god created you in a unique way embrace mm -hmm. your unique identity don't mm. let anybody you know stifle you and even if you have been stifled before it is time for you to now truly live it's mm. time for you to now come out and be everything that god has called you to be there's no limits the Alleluia. limits are in your mind mm -hmm. yeah, in your mind and then for the lessons about oh as a single person i think the top of the lesson is don't don't worship any man worship mm. god on top of it no matter who that person is no matter if god has shown you a vision that oh you're going to marry a particular person and then the person now comes don't still worship god still be very conscious mm. of it don't mm. don't become ah anything the person says or oh, or oh, so that because i want to don't submit to a man that is not your husband Mm, when mm. he has become your husband submit mm. i'm saying this because there are many ladies i'm telling you mm -hmm. he said i should follow them follow him to one place and then go and wash my stomach so that i can give birth you have followed him already you have not married mm. him because wow. you are afraid that if you don't follow him you will not marry let him come and be going mm. it is god that is bringing that person god uh -huh. will that person for you yeah and god will not the person god will not want to, the person that will make you not to please god is not your mm. own at all so mm. all those pressure the prayer that you know the me, worshiping a man because oh mm. he wants to marry me or he said he'll marry me or he's my future husband don't worship mm. you by the time you displace that order and you start mm. worshiping the man and you don't worship god you have already scattered everything mm. that's wow. where sea wow. finish comes in that's where abuse will now come in mm. that's where a lot of things because mm. you have shifted the original mm. order of things so top of uh -huh. it is worship god god is clear about don't worship any other worship god and you can honor man or whatever and this is across board not just okay marriage single relationship mm -hmm. don't worship any no matter what they've promised you no matter who they are in your life oh they were there for you they were clinical for you don't worship anybody let god mm. always be that number one in your life even mm. if somebody has played a great role or somebody is looking like what god has said whatever it is let god mm. be number one if you miss mm. that order of things your life can literally take a different turn mm. that you may not be able to survive mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. wow so that was powerful my lessons of uh, on that in that area I, in my book dear singles i have it on my bio mm. you can buy it from anywhere in the world mm. and that book is to help you receive sense receive mm. sense because what you don't know you don't know <laughs> mm. yeah. wonderful wow so now this brings us to the crux um the crust of the matter what brought about the live again project mm. live again project live again project in what in which of them because there, there there's the shelter is it the live again movement how did live again, live again. any for me <laughs> what better what gave birth you know to live again how you know i as in you know so i just know that it's live again any for me so tell us everything you know you know how did that did you understand what because breaking that kind of responsibility mm. is not for the faint-hearted mm. uh-huh uh. okay. and you know that person will wear shoes i know where they pay them no exactly so leave it so leave it again. yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, so so you know at the end of the day like you said from the beginning there is wealth in your pain but you need to even understand that it happened for you exactly. and not to you exactly. so how did live again come about okay so live again live again um the word live again i've never heard it in my life hmm. i've never heard it it was in intimacy so by the time i told you when i was talking about resilience i said when you've been through so much in different mm. aspects of life assorted challenges there was mm. a time i lost everything and when i say everything i lost my job i lost my uh my job my property everything my clothes i lost everything i literally started my life from scratch that's that's mm. just what it was i didn't have anything to my name like i didn't have anything and at, at that point i had gone back to god to say lord this is me right, right? yes I, I've, I've i've gotten to this point and obviously i can't go beyond this point because i'm even at where, where are they go you know, i'm at a crossroads you know when you're the kind of person that knows how to put your life to, you like to calculate and mm. analyze and 
you mm -hmm. want to be one step ahead you want to and then you now realize that all your calculation ended you in the belly of the fish mm. you do not see the one that you do not see you not see reach that one because you know still hmm. reach that way up so i got to a point where i was at the at, at the bottom 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 and hmm. i looked up and i said lord take my life and make hmm. it make make yes, something sir. out of this something out of it because hmm. as i'm like this, you don't you don't, oh, you don't, mm. you, don't you don't cast you know when the bible says the earth was without form and void like you were <laughs> it, was, it was void wow and wow I am going to die on your altar. Mm. Take this life. I don't want to, in fact, let it. I don't want to be right. Mm. I don't want to know anything. Just be the one that knows it all. Mm. I don't want to know. Be the one that knows mm. I'm following you at the mm. back. And that was how I surrendered. Mm. So mm. that surrendering came with, you know, mm. a new a new life, a new, mm. I would say, a new Enifome was born. Because I remember the particular, mm. particular day that I was praying and I kept saying, Father, kill Enifome. Father, kill Enifome. Mm. And sometimes, you know, some things happen and things. You would think <laughs> I just, I said, Father, kill Enifome. And you're here, you'd be like, oh, is this person mad? Kill Enifome. <laughs> there is an old you that needs to die. Die, yeah. Old wine, new skin. There's nah. nothing, you cannot, there's your old you cannot follow you to your new place. You, there's a, you an old you that needs to die. Mm. And that old you is attached, all the things that is attached to the old you, old relationships, mm. old mm -hmm. uh, associations, mm. old mindsets, old belief system, old thinking, old everything that needs to mm. die so that the mm. old you will emerge. I kept saying, Father, kill any for me. Father, kill any for me. And it was in the place of prayer and intimacy. So the, the, my intimacy with God, because you can be going to church, you can be going to, you know, following God, but there mm. are levels. The, mm. My intimacy with God increased so much that God became my only option. It's not mm. a case of I have different options. No. God no. is the only source, my mm. only everything. So before I do anything, ah, Father, I'm there. I'm, you know, I'm like, Father, you know, so in the in the in the cause of all of that he started to give me mm. instructions i mm. would just know that okay i'm to do this i'm to do that one of those days he told me to pay a school fees of a ch of two children mm. <laughs> but i still remember that day very well because i'm like you can't be serious i don't have money i've not even gotten the money that i'm expecting mm. they're already giving me assignments you know mm. but I did it. That day, I knew that something happened. You know how there was one day that we were in a class with FD, sir, FD mm. and somebody from, I think, one African country spoke and said okay. um, they were going to bring, they, they, could, they don't mind doing something that FD was doing in that country. Yeah. And FD yeah. said, he felt as if that was a Kairos moment that something had opened in the spirit to mm. an African country in that moment. In that mm. moment, I knew that something was better, but I could not place it. Mm. I just felt that if this thing I have done has opened something up for me that I don't understand. Mm. And I just mm -hmm. kept saying, Father Lord, I don't know what this is, but I yield to you. And mm. then after that, different instructions came, um, different things. I'll be in a place, you just tell me, okay, I'm I, I here for this. Mm. Can yeah, I can hear you. My alarm no. rang, so I had to. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So from there, it was just a case of it's it's been a journey of obedience. Mm. I am led to do something, and I do it. And that obedience came from a place of wanting to please God, because God became my everything. Like God became my source, mm. my lover, my best friend, my everything. So mm. it's all about okay. God wants me to do something, and I just go ahead and do the thing, even though it doesn't make sense. And mm. that statement, you know, when you say I'm not my own, it became, you know, when you died, yeah, you don't, mm. you don't own yourself. It became very, very clear to me that I am not my own. So if mm. I'm in a place, God is telling me, oh, inspire these people. And I'm there maybe on, with my own, for my own work or, my, or what I grant for my own self. It's like, no, 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 no. You're not your own. Talk to that woman. Do this. Do this. I'll just be doing like a zombie. So mm. one particular day, I was in a place of fellowship with God and I was having a beautiful time of fellowship. I mean, Trust me, if you are listening to me, God is the best lover. Oh, I don't know the kind of love you have experienced in your life, but because, mm. you know, I, there was something I did not mention, and that is in my one of my videos in my YouTube uh, page. I, I, I spoke about how that I, 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 I was in a state of confusion and pain. Mm. And I was, I couldn't pray. You know that there are some places you'll be, you cannot pray. You can't mm. pray. Mm -hmm. 
you don't have the words i was just mm. crying to god in worship feeling lost out of place feeling mm. and i heard god say to me i have loved you with an everlasting with an everlasting love hallelujah that was it was mm. like somebody he was like he came down to embrace me mm -hmm. I, felt the mm -hmm. heat, I felt the warmth i felt it mm -hmm. and i received mm -hmm. that love and mm -hmm. that love was where everything started from to change mm. me from the inside out and so mm. one of those days in that love moment in that, that sweet embrace in that beautiful i'm still reminiscing as i'm speaking to you now I'm reminiscing. Mm. it was such a beautiful moment with my abba daddy mm. and he said to me what i said he said i think i asked him what do you call me and he said mm. my jewel of inestimable value and then I asked him, so he now said, what do you now ask? What do you call me? I said, king of my mm. heart. So in that moment, mm. I was just there, you know, mushy and everything. And I heard, leave again. Oh, wow. I had never mm. heard that word. In it was an instruction. So I did not even know what it was. I'm like, leave again. Mm. I just wrote it because I, now I had a habit of writing what I don't understand in that mm. situation. Me, I'll just write it because some of them is bigger than my head. Like my head, mm -hmm. my head so I just write it. Mm -hmm. Leave again, mm -hmm. and then thankfully I was I was in a, a program with Safela Durotoye, and mm -hmm. I just wanted to share one of the things I had in my moment of koinonia, mm -hmm. and he started mm -hmm. to use him to start to expand it, mm -hmm. and he started to tell me how that I fell, I was mm -hmm. knocked down by life to be able to help mm -hmm. others get up. So I was knocked down. I got up and now is I'm supposed to help other people get, get up. up. So leave again. Later and I now went back to go and start finding out more. Like, Glo, what are you saying? What are you saying? And I realized that I it was me, it was my story. Mm. I was living mm. again. Mm. I had died. Mm. I had life had knocked me down. I had died and now I'm living again. And the life I'm living now is the you know important said i'm crucified with christ, Sorry, christ. nevertheless i live life the life i even live now is not even my it's not it's not mm. that i even live mm -hmm. anymore so that mm. old and for me has died mm. a new one has been born and the mm. life i live now is by mm. faith in the son mm. of god who loves me and gave himself for me mm. it's mm. it's it's, it's it's, it's it's a whole it's about the life of christ it's about mm. the resurrection power of god that can revive and mm. give life to any dead thing so mm. when i say I, I give life it's not i'm coming to come and tell you stories or one thing i crafted somewhere mm -hmm. the, the fire of god working in a human being because mm. god has used me my own life he he, he allowed me to to go through all the rigors and then mm. I died mm. and then I'm living again to help mm. other people live again. That no matter how life has knocked you down, no matter what has happened, no matter how it's happened, you mm. don't need to stop living. And God has shown me several mm. things of people that are just walking around mm. dead, dead mm. men walking, dead mm. men walking, literally wearing mm. nice clothes and looking good, but they mm -hmm. are walking empty. Mm. And it's like this is the, an entire army that is dead. I need them to live again. Mm. When when Ezekiel said, when God says, God say, can these bones live? See, mm -hmm. it is a case of no matter how bad, even if the bone has dried, finish. God, the resurrection power. If only you can die mm. and by death. Mm. I mean, you know, the Bible says our scripture, the core scripture of the live again. But God gave me three scriptures. Number mm. one, unless. A corn of wheat falls, wheat to falls and down and, and died. Mm -hmm. right alone. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. there is hope for a tree. If it, if mm -hmm. it falls down, you know, it will spring forth again at the Alleluia. end of water. Number yes. three, I have come that day by the and, and, and have it more abundantly. abundantly. It is overflowing. Mm -hmm. Anything mm. less of that, you cannot accept it. God no. will not send his son to die for nothing. Oh, you yes. Place a demand on that and say, ah, mm -mm. live again. I will live life in full. I will enjoy life regardless as mm -hmm. God ordained it to be. I will live the full life that God created me to be, abundant life. Mm. Hallelujah. So what live again is about. Mm. It's about hope. It's about life. It's about 
new life, resurrection power of God mm. that can resurrect mm. and give life to anything. Mm. And so everything mm. came out of that experience. And then one day I was on my own and God was speaking to me about, I've always wanted to have a shelter for, for women. And it all came through my own story. One particular time when I was abused, I had to sleep on the balcony. Oh my God. I slept outside. Oh my God. And that day, it, 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 it was a very terrible experience. Mm. I'm going to write my, I'm going to put all that in my book. I'm going to launch mm. when I get to 40 years old. Wow. It's a, my life, there's, there's so many less, my life is a, is a mm. curriculum. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. One of those things was just in mm. that moment of abuse, it just I said, mm. ah, how are women, how are women even coping safe? How are people living mm. in the situation? How are they coping? So mm. that was long ago. Imagine. Before, everything was still. But one day I was sitting down and then I was like, ah, I'll have a big house, I'll have a big land, I'll have a big, you know, <laughs> a big whatever, mm. a big place. I'll I will have like different rooms, you know, just this live again, shelter, then different the dreamer in the place. And the OSP was like, what do you have in your hand? Yeah, you the one you are talking about, you have a small place. Convert that mm. place to a shelter. Uh, and so start with what you have. That's what you have in your hand. So I converted it mm. to a shelter. And then uh, um, from that place, from that converting into a shelter, I had to now register it as an NGO because obviously you have to have a registered NGO to be able to have a shelter. Everything was instructional. I'll just look up, I'll just say, go and register, leave again foundation as an NGO. I'll just start moving like zombie. And God, the name was available. That's it. God, I, I was available. That's it. Imagine. That's how God is. You know, you just tell me everything I do. I just say, I just say, create, open an Instagram page. I'll open it and I'm the first person. And if I don't open that wow. thing, the thing will, maybe I'll have no. So I, I'm a woman that is under authority. Mm. I listen and I do. Yeah. I hear and I do. And because of that space, everything has come come out, live again movement started even before the shelter. I just started to inspire mm. women. You can live again. I don't know how life has knocked mm. you down. Your past is not, is not, no, your past is not, should not define you. Oh, come mm. out and live again. So the things that God had been teaching me in my mm. journey, I was now sharing in the live again movement on mm. Instagram. And then from mm. there, shelter, from there, foundation, from there, live again mesh. I'm even wearing the shirts, the live again shirts. Wow. It's just, everything has come out from that place of obedience mm. wow. and it's it's not even just that there's a lot live again academy where women can go and just there are just different resources there a free teaching mm. on patterns and negative patterns you can just start mm. just sit with that academy there's live again um lamb tribe group coaching there is live again community there's wow. support group there, it's just it's huge mm -hmm. just keeps why i always tell with people that when you want a vision you have a vision from god god give me a vision <laughs> you're ready it's, just, it's one word first sometimes it's one word you might have had light when you were praying or something mm. came to you light start there that light is a seed that dies it will bring forth multiples but you need to start you need to take action mm. to yes so went to the red sea before you had lift up your rod mm -hmm. you can't mm. be waiting for the red sea to pass inside your heart no no how come how come you uh -uh. go to that mm. red sea and say, where they mm. who they be, bring it on. You when need you to take the battle to the enemy's gate. It will, will, will melt like wax. Mm. Because it melts like wax at the presence of God. And you are the you are the walking presence of God. The Bible says, mm. blessed is it that comes in the name of the Lord. So when I appear, the mountain, they never burn now. Mm -hmm. so it must see, come down. So you understand that mm. you are bigger than whatever is looking like is bigger than you. Mm. Mm. Is, is it bigger than your God? Whatever you, you are afraid of is already afraid of you, but the problem mm -hmm. is that you don't know who you are yet. Mm -hmm. And I always mm -hmm. have, pray that God mm -hmm. will open your eyes to see yourself the way He sees you. That's exactly what I said while we were waiting to start this conversation. You need to see yourself through the lens that God is using to look at you, or else. You will fail in your assignment. You will not even find fulfillment for what you are here for. Yes. Hmm. If you think it's this person, this body that is you, Nibo, you are wrong. It's just a conduit pipe. It's just so that you'll be able to move and we can see you on earth. You are first a spirit. That's it. Before you are a human being. That's it. 
this is your case. It's like when you want to go to space, you have to wear space suits. So they gave you suits so that you can exactly. This is your earth suits. Your body is your earth suits. That's all. That's <laughs> so mm. that is the you that God created mm. that mm. preceded the way He designed you. The mm. way He now had to carve you. Mm. There was a you. There is a you mm. that you, you don't meet mm. when you meet that person. They never born mm. the challenge. That's mm. why I tell you that when I died, I died to live again. Mm. I died. Mm. Mm. Something happened to me recently when I traveled, and it was something that was supposed to make me lose myself and just react. But I walked away, not mm. once, not twice. When I got to the hotel reception and I sat down, I said, if I doubted that God has walked on this human being today. You know, or confirmation you don't, like you don't understand you know when you i always tell people that you know bible says that the life and death are in the power of the tongue mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. tongue can either speak life or speak death it's either oh, yes. life or death. choose so when mm -hmm. you have not given that tongue that mouth to god it can literally be a death machine mm -hmm. so you're mm -hmm. speaking you're talking but anytime you talk you release death to people mm. you release negative words you release mm. negative emotions negative vibes mm. they don't start taking up mm. their life no, no, they say, they, no, they, no. when they listen to mm. you there's no life mm. but when you mm. take that, that mouth mm. and you surrender it to people are saved but their mouth is not saved open your mouth and i'll fill it up that's what the bible said so people are saved but their mouth is not saved yet Mm, mm, because mm, it's whatever mm, you give mm. to God that He will sanctify. So you are not giving God yes. your mouth. You are listening mm. to me. Yeah, yeah. Is I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you right now. Mm. Give God your not mouth. Your mouth. After you are giving Him your mouth. Nothing you cannot give God. There should be nothing. Mm. You can give God this side. Then I cannot give God this side. Mm. And then this. You're side, not ready. You know. Give <laughs> God your mouth. Let Him use mm. this mouth. Before I came on live, I told God, God, use this mouth. You did. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm. I'm not just a speaker i'm a different you can't find my type anywhere mm. the things i will say you may not be able to hear them anywhere mm -hmm. because i'm giving god my mouth mm. and so if it is the old and for me that that thing happened to i would have you know when i say you scatter you know, grant raise the person they spin, they spin. <laughs> chapter 8 now he said when i have tried when he are in for the lord why the path that i take when he had tried me i shall come forth as gold that is said in a great house there are many vessels and i am mm. made of gold how do you read mm. the scripture i am mm. i am made of gold because i, I am made, made of gold fire, and I Mm. You understand mm. this? Mm. Like, mm. I did, mm. I could not kill me. Mm. Because, mm. Oh, mm. 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 The mm. of the fire. The fire mm. is where God refines mm. you. It's where, yes, mm. the devil plans it all, but God uses mm. it. Yes. Mm. You don't hear me. You know mm. what I said. The devil mm. plans it, but God mm. uses it. Look at how 
the, 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 the Hebrew person said, thrown into the fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. They were thrown into the fiery furnace, but because God was with them, that mm. fire became an AC room. In fact, they were dancing there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so mm. when the devil brings fire and says, ah, it's not as if everything is against you, everything is all happening at the same time. Try to refocus. It's like when you are driving and there is fog and you clean the lens, clean the lens again and mm -hmm. look again. and look again, look again and look again. Oh, yes. oh. That there is a mm. man in that fire. Oh yes. If you can put your focus on that fourth man and not the mm. fire, you will come mm. out as gold. If you mm -hmm. can put your focus mm. on the fourth man, look, mm. when the disciples were looking at the waves, they were looking mm. at the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus was in their boat. Mm. Jesus mm -hmm. was in their boat. And they were looking at the why? Mm. So when matter told God, mm. if you have come since, he said, He won't have died. No, 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 no. The resurrection, resurrection and, and the light. Hey! You still just say, okay, one day you raise him up. I said, I am the resurrection. You are telling me one day, may we not be blind. Blind. Amen. We are sitting there and Jesus is there with us. We will see mm. him and not that challenge. Not that mm. circumstance. Mm. Because mm. Jesus is in your boat. They never born the wave. No, <laughs> where, where, where they born? Where they come from? The <laughs> but the problem <laughs> is that we are looking at the wave, we are <laughs> looking at the fire. <laughs> you don't lose focus. Focus on your focus. Focus on your focus. So what you focus on expands, and then it overwhelms you. <laughs> and then it swallows you, and then you say, hey, "They have come <laughs> my enemy." <laughs> Fancy way, you are village people. Me when you refuse to to learn that in this life, oh, there are mm. lessons in everything. There is always mm. a, there is see oh labor. No, 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 no. When you say light mm. at the end of the tunnel, you need to understand something. Listen, mm. to me. listen to me. Mm. In him was light, and, and that light the light for the life of men. The is inside you. Hey! Okay. The light that you are looking for is out of the corner. Is oh you? my God! Hear me. Hmm. You are looking at the wrong thing. It is within you. The wrong everything. Focus Any for me? Light Any you. for me? Did you remember? You said now follow come. You said now follow come. And that just hits the nail on the head. Now follow the fa the light. The light now follow come. It is inside. It is not at the end of the tunnel. Look. The other hmm, marvelous. The other day I was coaching a woman and 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 she was constant. She was looking for all the answers outside. And as I continue to question, you know, ask questions, ask questions, and ask questions, and then she had the Hureka moment and said, the answer, the solution, precedes the problem. I was like, whoa, this is a different person right now that I'm talking to. He said, the solution precedes the problem. I said, what do you mean? What's happened to you just now that is making you to say that? She said, she just realized that all the things that she's been looking for outside was actually inside of her. And she had refused to dig deep because she now said she didn't realize that she is a miner. And what do miners do? They dig deep till they find the gold. And when you dig deep and you find the gold, what do you do? You bring it out and then you refine it. And then it goes through the fire. And then you cannot present it to the world. Yes. I was like, oh my God, this is transformational. Yes. You need to know that what you carry is within you. The light is not that. Forget that fallacy. The light is not the end of every planet. The light is within you. Hallelujah. The light you are hmm. looking for everywhere. You are all hmm. over the place. 
you go, nobody called you, you call the person, you go, hey, 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 you are, you are just, you are just, you are disgracing God. Hey! See, and this is what I always tell women that go through life challenges and, and different things, and now be carrying themselves like, and my life hmm. don't finish. Let me tell you the truth. Hmm. You see the way you're carrying yourself, eh? Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. you are mystery priest. God is not pleased mm -hmm. with you at all. Being like, you know, hey, hey, hey. I don't mm -hmm. know, I'm not there. Yo. I'm not saying exactly. you ask for help. Ask for help, but mm -hmm. recognize, mm -hmm. recognize that the help mm -hmm. is God sending people, sending channels, bringing mm -hmm. opportunities. It is once your focus leaves mm -hmm. God, you are finished. Mm -hmm. Whatever mm. God will use to help you is God that wants to help you through mm. the person. Mm. So yes. you can become a new stance. Mm. And you say, you say, why help you? Mm. I want to help you. Mm. Because you are desperate. Because mm. you have moved your focus from the one who is up there. I will look up. I will look up. I will look mm. up to the hills. I will look Looking up, up to, to the Jesus, the author. And the, help come from. And the finisher. From mm. the Lord. The maker mm -hmm. of heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. The maker mm -hmm. of the person that said they want to help you. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. If you are playing with your work with God, oh, please, I came on this night to come and tell you. If there is nothing, you see, outside God, you are nothing. Empty. You see, there's not, I'm not coming to come and make you feel good. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm telling you. Outside <laughs> of God, if you are mm -hmm. still darling, in short, mm -hmm. if, if this world has not yet taught you yet, that mm. nothing is is nothing nothing they inside nothing they then they are playing mm. they play mm. they play just they play just they play mm. any fire oh. any fire yeah, people, you see, they say mm. live again they celebrate live again oh, mm. live again like you said mm. it's sweat and blood sweat and blood one day, I was raising money for a lady in, in, in a particular city that I, I went to. Mm. I had minimum balance in my account. Mm. The pers one person saw my status and sent money for the lady. Oh, wow. I was like, oh, thank you. God bless you. The next thing, I saw this same amount in my account. I now called her. I said, I don't understand. You sent me money. The girl didn't even have my personal account. She now smiled. I now screenshotted because she's a, a sister. I showed her my, 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 my balance and sent to her. She started laughing. Hmm. She said, thank God that she obeyed. Wow. Thank God that she obeyed. Wow. So wow. you see me doing these things. It's not because, oh, hmm. God just needs a vessel. Hmm. I've learned that. Hmm. There was a particular time that particular lady, we had to get her off. She was she was in the hospital. She had had a CS and she couldn't get out of the hospital. And the more she was staying there, the more her bills were increasing. Mm -hmm. And she called me and said, ah, see, you know, I don't know what to do. And she had lost a child previously. Oh and my so God. I know that this was God giving her a new child. And I was mm. how happy the moment was. But this particular thing was falling. I said, how what am I going to do? I didn't have any money. Mm. But she was like, like ah, just post it now. You never can tell. Mm. And I just felt that was God pushing me to mm. do it. So I posted it. On that 24 hours. Mm. On that 24 hours. Like, so how can I give to this woman? So wow. what can I give to? So what is wow. it? Has, has, has the bill been paid? Wow. On that 24 oh. hours, we raised a hundred and something thousand naira and sent it yeah. to the woman. Hallelujah. And that day taught me yeah. a lesson. Hmm. You don't need to have hmm. all the money to help. A close man is a close destiny. Yes, and then you don't. If you don't to, speak up, God just needs your willingness. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's, just say here hmm. I am. Send, Send me. me. Just be that willing vessel, and you will see what God will hmm. do. We still have mm, a lot. Mm. We want to have our own place for the shelter. There's a lot. We are we are planning mm. to live again outreach is very huge. Mm. We need partners. Even mm. our rent, we need to rent partners. But you see, mm. faithful is he that called me. Mm. Faithful is he that would do it. Mm. But I, I am so grateful to God because I never saw myself walking this path. It was never in my plan. Mm. It was I studied engineering. What's my business with mm. trauma, mm. with company and uh, a, a mindset, clinical, and uh, 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 helping women that have been broken. And they're helping. What is my business? I did not have any. I didn't see it in my in my future. Mm. <laughs> but you see, when you die, mm. the version of you that will be born is better than you see, exceeding abundantly, abundantly above all that you ever ask or think or imagine. Why not just die? According to the power. Mind, just mm -hmm. die. Let God. Let God bring forth the mm. new one that even mm. you have never mm. seen before 
That's the mm. one that mm. the world is waiting for. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. So at this junction, <laughs> you know, someone is watching this and is saying they want to leave, but there are so many fears, you know. Mm -hmm. What are the fears, you know, concerning living and how can what what three things can you tell this person that can help them to get out of that jinx of thinking that if they leave, hmm, <laughs> that is the end of the road for them. Because at the end of the day, fear is false evidence appearing real. So you first of all need to even understand what the fear stands for so that you know that there is no basis for these evidences. They are false and you cannot even, they don't hold any water. Mm. So what can you tell that person that is afraid to leave? Because, you know, when, when I was thinking about this our session, the, that song, you know, fear is not my future. It's not your future. I've been playing, it's always like on, re, it's on, it's on repeat mode. And when I was just thinking about it, and it just came, fear is not your future. Woman, you can live to live again and like wow but that is one powerful topic and i shared with you so what's that one three things that you can tell somebody that is afraid so afraid to leave so that they know that look it can only get better from here all right okay so remember i mentioned that you were i, I was foreknown i was predestined and i was everything about my life was already for known it's not just for me it's mm -hmm. in romans 8 i think in 29 i'm not so sure yeah i mm. think it's romans 8 29 that says that um for whom he foreknew he predestinated and he you know you did not yes what has happened to you has happened to you mm. but it has not stopped god's purpose for your life mm. Mm. what has happened to you is not even big enough to stop god's purpose for your life mm. Mm. so if you are in a situation maybe an abusive marriage and then you are afraid to leave you need to understand something. Mm. God is your maker. Let's even leave mm. Father first. He made mm -hmm. you. Mm. Go to Father. God is your maker. He made you for a purpose. Mm. And he did not make you so that you would, mm. you would exist. Mm. Existing is not part of the reason why he made mm. you. He made you for you to truly live. And for you to mm. truly live, there are some certain things you need to there is a way you live your life mm. that you live life to the full and it's not oh do what makes you happy even if, I, I don't i'm not a supporter of that thing because mm -mm. what makes you happy may not be what makes god happy mm -hmm. it's a case of living your life according to the precepts according to the predestination according to what mm. god had in mind when he yes. formed you in the womb mm -hmm. So you being in an abusive marriage, God is not pleased that you are you are suffering. First of all, so all mm. those cases of oh, um, you know, um, when, when this um, I can't leave, I can't leave. You know, first of all, let me shatter that table that says um, um, God when you leave, um, um, God will not be happy with you. Wanting, wanting, wanting. First of all, the problem is that you are not aligned to God. So when you leave, sometimes people just say, "Okay, I'm going." Uh, the man mm. does this something to me. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You have not carried that along. You go so far. Oh, mm. Jesus. He mm. say, oh God, I don't know the way I want to describe the level of suffering. Mm. Mm. Listen and listen very well. Go to God. If you are there in that abusive marriage and you are tired, you are confused, you don't know, you are, you are, you are tired. Mm. What again? Crossroads. Go to God. He is your maker. God I am tired. I don't, I don't, I'm tired. Is this mm. what you had in your mind when you were making me? If this is not what you had in your mind, please come mm. and fix, fix mm. my life, fix this whole thing. Because one pastor mm. prayed, he said, he told God, God, is that how you fix this marriage or you kill me? Mm. And I thought that was very profound because the guy didn't want to walk out of his marriage. It wasn't mm. a case of abuse in this case, but he said, God, you have to fix this marriage or you kill mm. me. God now had to fix the marriage and today they are happy. Sometimes mm. what is causing problems in marriage, it should not sometimes, a lot of times, what is mm. causing problem in marriage is not what the physical eyes can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Marriage is spiritual. It is deeper than that. Mm. I, I mentioned symptom and root causes. Mm. 
Mm. There is something sponsoring the symptom you are seeing. That mm. you feel like, ah, this person is doing this thing. Mm. So when mm. you are with God and you are aligned and you go to God and say, God, what is the thing mm. that, that is on that I cannot see? Mm. God mm. can now show you. And then when you are in an abusive marriage and the man is beating you and he wants to kill you, to be very honest, that man is mm. under an influence of demonic spirits. Mm. Guess what? Those demons will kill you. I'm mm. saying it and I'm saying it as raw as it can be. Mm. Those mm. demons, when the man opens his mouth and tells you I will kill you, he will kill you. Mm. Stop trying to, to dilute the statement. Stop oh. trying to make it look like uh, he did not really mean it. That time he was angry, and you know, there's the way there's the way he behaves. They are justifying it. They are saying, uh, maybe because me too, I'm stubborn, and these are the things that you're telling yourself. If a man beats you, and then he mm. takes this high another step and tells you, I will kill you or anything like that. Mm. Whatever he's doing, he's not the one doing it. And now I want to balance this thing I said because. Men know what they said. Someone said that okay, when a man beats you, it's not a mistake, he knows what he's doing. Yes, mm. for him to get to the point of beating you, he yielded. He said, Okay, I will beat you. Mm. So let's not excuse mm. it to the devil. But mm. the spiritual side is that he's under an influence that he has allowed himself to be influenced mm -hmm. to be used, and yes. And he can be used to kill you. No, no, in this are no peace. That that mm. man can be used to kill you and you will die for nothing. For no reason. That God does not want you dead. Mm. God does not want you to die prematurely. And even if you are going to die, let it not be that it's, it's, it's an abusive marriage that killed you. Mm. Mm. So if you're an abusive mm. marriage, recognize that God is the only one mm. that can help you. Mm. Mm. I'm saying mm. this thing because I want you to know that if somebody tells you, okay, I'm going to help you, it is God that is sending the person. So number one, mm. go to God. God, ah, Ebamio, come and save me. Don't go to man first. Mm. Because mm. if you go to a human being, you see, let me tell you the truth. You might be surprised at the way things would happen. Mm. You might not might be it might happen in a way that you don't expect you might be disappointed mm. because even human beings they are very funny i'm saying mm. this because the time i was i was abused and i went to the police station and i remember the <laughs> i remember the one of one um police officer was was telling me that all these women safe you cannot even endure yourself eh and it's not Imagine. and she and it was such a very terrible thing for her to say to me mm. and even after you now leave there are things that will happen that people mm. will say and do to you that if you are not exactly. if you are not if god if you don't if you are not anchored in god you mm. can miss it mm. so you can fall into the wrong car someone can tell you oh let me help you the person might have a wrong plan for you you can end up in mm. the wrong situation that would worsen what mm -hmm. you are going mm -hmm. through you can even mm. judge the situation wrongly because you are not mm. in god mm. there's a lot mm. that can happen so go to god first mm. When you go to God, ask God for a strategy. Mm. Ask God for a way mm. to escape. Mm. Because the Bible says that there is no temptation that is common to man, but God is able to make a way of escape. Mm. Every situation is different for different people. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, someone telling you, ah, that man abused you. Oh, yeah, fight. Blow him. Beat him. Mm. Kick him. Mm. <laughs> he might put you in a bigger trouble. Mm. So, go to god first because sometimes we are so quick we go to mm. everybody i said this thing before when i was talking that we go to everything but god go but to god god well i can't live like this i can't i know fit as it as i did like this you know he's seeing you but go to him mm -hmm. and if there are areas that you may be airing or areas that even you two may not even know that the devil is using as a leverage when you go to him he will point it to you, you. Mm -hmm. and then you can mm -hmm. now move you can now take action from a well-informed place mm. and then mm. if god if the thing cannot sometimes god's way of escape is for you to leave mm. sometimes god's way of escape is for the god to appear to that man 
Sometimes God will obviously be for, for, for the man to have an encounter that would change that old man to a new man. Sometimes mm -hmm. if God's will of escape is for you to apologize. Sometimes God's will of escape is for you to become, for God to show you your own problem so that you can become better and that man can see you and see that almost if this my wife can become like this. Mm -hmm. So there are, God is dynamic. Diverse. Mm -hmm. But go to God first. Mm. Don't go to man first. Mm. Mm. Now, mm. when you go to God, understand that God is your father. Have the mindset you have about God is very important. Understand mm. that God is your father. God loves you. God is good. And mm. God is faithful. Mm. These three mindsets, they anchor me. God is love. God is good. And God is faithful. Mm -hmm. The reason is when you go to God, you need to be sure that you need to know that He can save you. Because sometimes mm -hmm. you go to God, He said, He said, um, um, without faith, it's impossible to please God. To please God. For he that mm -hmm. comes to God must believe that He is. Mm -hmm. So you need to know that God can actually deliver you from that situation. Yeah. That's why I'm saying this mindset mindset shifts for God. Because some people think that why I'm saying this is that many women in an abusive marriage or situation believe that God is the reason why God is punishing them. Mm. God is angry with them. Mm. God is partial to people. They are just different things. In fact, a lot of times they turn away from God. Mm. They think God is the reason for their predicament. Mm. But God is not the reason. Mm. If you check very well, there were some warning signs. There mm. were things you ignored. Mm. There were, God, did not, God is not the reason for that thing. Mm. You gave the room. You somehow cooperated with whatever did you to do you, and that's the first law. If you're going to leave and if you're going to change any situation, check for how you contributed. Because if you say, "Oh, is uh, you uh, you absorb yourself from everything and you blame everybody without looking into yourself to say, "How did I? Did I not listen? Did I not hear? Was there something I missed?" When you do this, uh, what it does for you is it helps you see the situation from an observer's perspective, where you're mm. observing what happened to you and see, mm. oh, okay, okay. If you're able to pick the lessons there, chances are that even though you leave, you will not repeat the same mistake. Mm. Mm. But if you just think, oh, this man is my problem, the world is my problem. My aunt in the village is my problem. My uncle that came yesterday is my problem. I don't look my within. That is my problem. Everything is your problem without you looking for yourself. Mm. My mm. dear, mm. you might be misled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. True that. so I know I've said a lot, but and I don't want to make it look like okay, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about only God in terms of an abusive marriage. The second thing you need to know is that there is help there mm. is help that there is no help i hear people say it a lot um i don't have any father mother and father in lagos or where my current location i need a support system i need a clinical see i'm going back to god again god is the only support system you need let me mm. tell you what i'm saying that when god is your support system he can bring out a city in a dry land just to help you mm. let me explain what i mean Let's assume that there is no job and there is no position for you. You are applying mm. for a job because you are going in the name of the Lord. You are going because God has already, you've ascertained that God is your only help. God has given you a strategy and maybe part of that one is, ah, get a job. Or you might need to fend for yourself and your children. For example, mm. when you go to that company and there was no job, the, because you have, see, the king could not say no to Esther. Do you know why? Esther had been cooked in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And because the king could, nobody can say no to God, they could not say no to Esther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understand this thing. When Esther went to the king, they never born that king making no say yes to Esther. Mm -hmm. You know why? She focused on the spiritual part first. Mm -hmm. So when she went to the king, the king saw God. He did not see Esther. Mm -hmm. And you cannot mm -hmm. say no to God. Mm -hmm. It was God that was fighting for his people now. He was just yeah. using Esther as the vessel to be able to secure the freedom of the Jews now. Right? Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. about Esther and the king. It was God versus an agenda of the enemy. So there is an mm. agenda of the enemy for your marriage. Mm. And there is God's agenda. 
Mm. Anytime some women are out of order and mm. they're trying to invite God to fight this something that they're out of order for. Mm. You're out of order. When I say out of order, I mean you are not even serving God again. Sometimes they don't even go to church again. They are angry with God. So they're taking the matter into their hand. Some of them don't even respect this man. They've thrown it into the wind. Now, there are cases where the man is very, very unreasonable. But there are also cases where the woman is fed up. And the man was the one that pushed the woman to the point where she's fed up. Mm. So now she's reacting from what, she has, what the man has given to her. She's now reacting. In mm. that space, the devil is having a field day. Ah, mm. The devil is bullying. Mm. So there needs to be a realign, an alignment. That's why I mentioned the first one. I said, go to God. He will give you a strategy and a way of escape, but it will be his way and not your way. Mm. You'll be and don't be surprised if he tells you to do something that is strange and crazy. Mm. Because in that space, God is seeing something you cannot see. God mm -hmm. is seeing beyond what you're seeing. Mm. So I mentioned that if you now go to God and he gives you a strategy, for example, recognize that there is help. If you go now, let's, let's assume that there's no job and you go and apply for a job. God can speak to the heart of the person, say, How about you create a new department for this woman? Mm. It did not exist, but because you were aligned, the thing began to mm. exist because of you. God mm. can even bring people in a strange land and say, I don't know, but I just feel like I should help you. Or do you need an accommodation? Do you need a mm. house? Do you mm. need money before you know help is that you are you in fact that thing that was meant to kill you it just becomes mm. god is like okay yes, that, yeah, i've made yes, the way that. of escape mm. because if you make the way of escape by yourself <laughs> what you might make is not the way of escape it might be a trap you mm. might mm. look mm. back years later to see that omar i was i i thought i was i knew what i was doing but mm. i actually didn't know what i was doing because i was judging the situation from my own mm perspective and my own mindset not mm. from the place of mm. god mm. so I say, i'm saying this because i believe that this is what god wants me to say to someone that is listening to us mm. go to god ask him for a way of escape a strategy i always recommend retreats personal retreats cut mm. off from all this whatever sometimes people are telling you things from the place of their own experience from the place mm -hmm. of what they have also known and their knowledge is limited so even mm. if God will send you to someone, like maybe a coach, um, Live Again Foundation, something, he has prepared that person. Mm. So maybe the person is even going to say to you what God has already put in the person to say. But if you do mm -hmm. not go to God first, you, you may not even... You know where he, is, where he has sent your message to. Yes, you may not you are even mm. be doing the wrong thing and thinking you are doing the right thing. So mm. there is help, which is one thing that makes women stay in a PC. They feel that there is no help anywhere. Who wants mm. to help me? Mm. Forget that thing. Nobody can help me. Nobody will help me. There is help. Recognize mm. that there is help. And number mm. three, I'll always say this thing. If you are in an abusive marriage and you are not living, after you have gone to God, after you have whatever, whatever, I like the theme of this thing. Fear is not your future. Mm. You are suffering from fear. And mm. that fear is fear of the unknown, fear of failure, what people what can say. fail what people will say, what would they not say, mm. what would they do, what would they not do, fear mm. of any kind, fear of what if I don't get a, this thing, what if I suffer, what if, mm. I would say, number three is faith, exercise your faith, and faith mm. takes action, faith is something that is not, it does not stay, you know, if it is, it's, it's an action, faith without works is dead, so without mm -hmm. your action, your, you don't have faith, your proof mm. of your faith is in the action that you take. And that mm. can be you going to, looking for a lawyer around you, say, please, oh, mm. I'm going through this. What are my odds? What are, mm. what are my, 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 what are my options? You can, you can go to the domestic violence, whatever, around you. You can go to, there's this thing called the feeder, female lawyers, whatever, whatever. They help women that are whatever. If you're in Lagos, there's office of the public defender. You know, there are places you can go to and take action and say, oh, this is what is happening. It might even be you just going to the parents of the person to say, see you, see you, see you. Or if the person has an authority figure, it's not one size fits all. The action you would take is not one size fits all. But the mm. most important action you need to take as an, in, in an abusive marriage, after all these things I said, 
when you are exercising mm. your faith is to go and go to the authorities that you need to go to go and report all this um i cannot go and report to oh, then the man too will threaten you mm. your in-laws will threaten you people around you will threaten you they'll say if you go that's the end of this marriage and all those things if you are sure that you have gone to god oh, and you are sure mm. that that thing that you want to do you feel led you don't know you cannot explain it but in your inside inside you feel like this is what you're supposed to do after you have fixed the please i mentioned the first thing which is that god side because that one is very important when you have done that mm. and you now exercise your faith i can guarantee you angels are backing your faith they are backing mm. your action and then things would literally open up the god will make a way when you move so mm. don't stay in an abusive marriage and die there mm. i asked one woman that called me one day i own is not abuse i own is oh because i'm a marriage mentor and a relationship coach so i don't when i and i'm putting this here i don't encourage you men oh leave your husband leave your marriage hey, hey, hey. you annoyed you i beg leave i don't do that you know why i'm a woman of the spirit so if mm. you come up and meet me and say i'm leaving my husband he beat me. He abused me. Mm. The Spirit of God will give me the words to tell you. It may not be mm -hmm. what you want to hear. Mm. A particular lady came to meet me and said she's leaving her marriage and everything. I said, Why do you want to leave your marriage? And she was surprised that why would I let the ask you that kind of question? <coughs> What's your why? It's necessary to ask. Me. Why do you want to leave your marriage? Mm. After everything, we got to the point where she said she is the breadwinner of the marriage and she's tired mm. and everything. And I said, this is not the order that God created. God did not mm. create marriage for the woman to be the one, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, everything. No. So, you know, the Bible says that the enemy has done this. Mm. There must be something that went wrong. Was it always like this? Mm. So, because I'm a, I'm a marriage mentor, I was not able to guide her. And then I asked her one question. Can you categorically mm. say you have done your absolute best? Mm. That question shook her because she did not expect mm. I said, in anything in life, if you walk away from your abusive marriage, those thoughts will come. Mm -hmm. What would you have uh, yeah, Maybe you should have done like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe are you sure that is not? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you could have, mm -hmm. you should have, could have, would have, should have. So mm -hmm. if you are saying any small thing to me, um, the man talk to me this way. I'm going. You know, I'm going. You know, I'm going. I'm, going. I'm, going. I'm very, very, very just irrational. They're, they're saying, I'm going. Dramatic. I'm going. Dramatic. I'm going. Let me tell you the truth. Every battle that you run away from, you will fight it mm. in front. In front. So, mm. it, it's not you, in life. You cannot dodge your your process, your season. Mm. And say, okay, let me run. Then I will flee. And I. Why I'm saying this is, I have seen with experience. In helping women live again, especially broken, abused, and distressed women, mm -hmm. that that you left Egypt does not mean that Egypt has left you. Ooh, you've internalized Egypt. Mm, mm, Egypt mm. is a part of you and has become you. Mm. Has become even if you say, if you are the Egypt self, mm. anywhere you run to Egypt will be following you there because you are Egypt. You are the mm. Egypt. You have become Egypt. Mm. So that's why I said this thing, eh? You need to, there's a lot of inner work that you need to do so that even mm. when you leave, you can be useful to yourself, mm. your even the, your children, if you have any, and your society at large. Mm. Otherwise, you'll be useless to yourself. You will mm. just be existing. And you yes, life threatening situations you have to leave, but don't let it stop at leaving. If mm. it is that you just have to leave now, and it is beyond every reasonable doubt leave god will not judge you god will not be angry mm. with you god will not punish you god will not people will sleep people will be all right mm -hmm. because if you die they will still be all right true mm. that we have very very happy that died nobody talking about Sinachi again i mentioned her before he came on the live nobody is oh, talking about her again mm. but when she died mm -hmm. everyone was motivational speaker eh, exactly a lot of people are talking about women that don't live. Do you think it's easy to live? Let me even say it here. Mm. I'm going to put it out there. Live to live again. But to be very, very practical and real, it is mm. always hard to live. Mm -hmm. No woman gets married with the mindset that she's going to live yeah. her marriage the next yeah. day. So be mm -hmm. kind to women that are in abusive marriages. Mm. Be kind to them. 
don't pamper them and tell them stay there and die because you want them to, to hear what something that will make them feel good but be kind even in your words to them what they are going mm. through is not it's not easy yes mm -hmm. i might have seen the warning signs yes but don't you also make mistakes mm -hmm. so be kind to that woman and then objectively speak to her as somebody mm. who if it were you how would you like somebody mm. to, to 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 do what do unto others what you want mm. others to do unto you right wow. but it's never mm. easy to leave mm. and you need to be kind to that person but also tell them mm. the truth and make them understand that the decision is still up to them so mm. there's nobody that i speak to and i tell you you have to leave now can you go <laughs> i tell you this is the situation this is these are the disadvantages these are the likely things that can happen if you stay there these mm. are the things that happen to people like you then i will put the whole thing in your front then i tell you what do you choose because if you don't decide what you want it doesn't matter what anybody tells you. You mm. must decide what you want for yourself. And so mm. many times we hold this mindset with engineering sessions because the mind, mind of an abused woman is like a car that had accident. Mm. Please look for word for me. Like okay. yes, sister. You knock, engines, you knock. You knock. Mm. So all those mm. that smile to perspire, they are saying. Is anyone here yeah. coming out from uh, because true. the mind is not functioning well? Mm -hmm. it's not it has been distorted. So it also, mm -hmm. Because when mm -hmm. a man abuses you, it will get mm -hmm. to a point you begin to question everything. You mm -hmm. question your eye. Is my eye really eye? Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's mm -hmm. eye? Mm -hmm. You'll be looking, you'll be behaving, you'll be like, because he will tell you this thing is not an eye, this thing is a nose. You're like, hey, mm -hmm. but it's eye now. You, you, you'll be. You feel even mad, say. You feel the mm. on the you meant to chew, chew those beans. There was That's a time right. in my life where I, I was on the I was on I was pregnant for my second child and I was on the road and a car was running and I did not know. Wow. Wow. You don't understand what I'm saying. Mm. Somebody pushed me out of the road. Wow. It's not wow. you're not understanding this thing. You are mm. a woman that's in an abusive marriage is 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 kilometer, kilometer, like you know, psychological. It's just borderline like this. Mm. Before it snaps. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh my God. Just one small snap. That's why a man can hit the woman on the wall and she's dead already. She don't die. Oh my because God. Because she has died already. Mm. It was just, just one more click. That's it. Mm. leave it. A walking day. Do you know what it means for a man to be abusing you every day? Sometimes he tells you you are not good enough, you are stupid, mm, you don't make it, you know, nobody will listen to you. Is it your type that you know it and then let's say now degrades to beating? Most women are emotionally abused. Mm. I sat with a woman in church and I was talking about snatching. That was when she died, and the woman said, Let me open up to you. Even me myself, I'm talking to you. I'm emotionally abused and I've been abused for. This is the woman that was sitting down beside me in church, looking very good. Mm. So a lot of women are in this thing. Mm. But if you are being emotionally abused, and I've shared these three things I've shared with you, if you do these three things, eh, mm. you are you are in the borderline. You cannot. You can. How do I put it? You know what I said. The last part is exercising your faith. Fear is not your future. Mm -mm, it is not. And in that song, it says that. You are mm. that means fear is not your future, God is your future, and it mm -hmm. says, um, 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 heartbreak is not your home, it's not your home, and it says, um, as it, something else that it says, um, sickness is not the end. Mm. There's some words there, there's a particular last word I'm trying to remember, but I'll remember it later. That death is not the end. end, death is not the end. Yes, what that, that song is telling you is that there is so so much more ahead of you than what you what a lot there's mm -hmm. so much more ahead of you than what has happened to you like, in your past exactly what is in front of you yep. is big man to live for there is so much to live for if god can mm -hmm. open your eyes to see mm -hmm. god there is what is happening to you is not you separate mm -hmm. you from what is happening to you what mm -hmm. is happening to you is happening to you is not you mm -hmm. Mm. See, let me tell you something when an abuser abuses a person because they have been in that thing for long the thing programs them it mm. programs you 
you have been subjected to it so it it, it programs you into a person you are not mm. it makes you believe this is who you are but this is not who you are that's why i say mm. go back to god god will show you this is who you are this, mm. this thing that is happening is not who you are once mm. you can see yourself as mm. how god mm. sees mm. you it changes the way you see everything Mm, mm, mm. because you will now see that that man does not have the capacity to stop your mm. future mm -hmm. so, men will tell the women that let me see how you will survive it, without me without me so mm. we will not say it but everything about them is showing that hey, I make us see man, mm -hmm. you did not create that woman you don't have the ability mm. to stop what god has planned in her life but you the mm. woman has to know that no human being born of the face of of, of, of a woman no human being with breath in their nostrils has the capacity, has the ability to stop your God's plan for your life. No human mm. being can stop, can see you finish without you seeing yourself finish. Mm. You, know, you have seen yourself finish that, hey, mm. my children, who will marry me? Hey, where I want mm. that? Or if it's, a, if it's a, a relationship, who will marry me if I leave this man? This man is a lie. Mm. Mm. And that video I posted about Pastor Paul, you said that means you don't mm. have faith that God mm -hmm. can take care of you. You don't have mm. faith that God scarcity mindset that God loves you enough to rescue mm. you and take you to a place He has prepared for you. Is mm. it going to be easy? No, because I'm always up for balance. I want to balance mm. this to never be it's easy. Not going to be easy. Blood, sweat, and tears. But let me tell you, if you stay there, it's not going. Mm. To be easy to it's not going to be easy I'm either to say this for the woman that is having an illusion of peace. Mm. Peace. peace is a person, the absence mm. of that person, it might look like peace, but it's not peace. I'm saying this because mm. at a time, you know, when a man an abuser will always give you do's and don'ts, rules and regulations, mm. things you should do and things you should not do for peace mm. to reign mm. if, even you two will say let me do it for peace to reign and mm. if you know the story of dr femi olale yeah, the guy who raped and uh, assaulted women as a cervical cancer oh, yes. doctor mm -hmm. that videoed them and be sleeping with them and blackmail them with the video oh my god that he videoed them in there without their knowledge without their knowledge this oh my god woman that married this man has been living in that the man mm. will even drug her so that she will not be even away and he will mm. be sleeping with her niece mm -hmm. so when, when the woman decided to talk the woman's mother and if you're listening to me maybe you're in an abusive marriage sometimes it is even your in-laws the mother that will say i beg living mm -hmm. a man let him to destroy man, son. do anything for peace to reign yeah. for peace to reign so you have literally done everything and the only thing that is left is your blood that's the only thing <laughs> is there for them to just mm. shed your blood like jesus christ mm. that's the only thing that is jesus already shed blood there's no more need for blood shedding no please for any blood shed again mm. but you think that the more you do for peace to reign peace is an illusion am i saying you should be a quarrel some cantacarous rude person no i'm saying don't be so i won't be protective you cover rubbish you cover adultery you cover you chop all the nonsense and the rubbish because you feel if i chop it there will be peace that peace is an illusion you are sitting on a time bomb bomb guess what it will still explode mm. and mm. it does not explode ah. now you are leaving a liability for people coming after you because the soul that sins shall die number one number two, he that covereth his sin the bible is clear he will not prosper so that mm. sin you are covering the man has slept with your daughter for example you are covering it because you think it has mm. mm. the man mm. will leave me mm. your daughter something has happened to her the enemy mm. has sown tars that will mm. get generational problems that even after you are dead and your children are here your grandchildren are here they will still be struggling with in different prayer houses mm. so that it looks like it is peace and everything is now fine because you are now covering the cheating you are chopping it you the man will sleep with somebody you will sleep with the man you will have hiv and god mm. will not did not send you that one 
Mm. Wisdom is profitable. Profitable to direct. If you have a cheating partner, do not condone it. And when I say do not condone it, I'm going to go back to these three things. Go to God. God, this man is cheating. Go back to God. Because if you go back to God, God can help to fix that thing. Mm. But if you sit down and say, I cannot do anything about it, all men cheat. Let's mm. just take it. You are a liar. Mm. All men do not cheat. Not That's cheat. A limiting belief mm. that you believed because of the things you have seen and the things that have happened in your life. Mm. There are men that don't cheat. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You are deserving of a man that does not that cheat. That does not cheat. So mm. it's a whole, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of, you have to do self-talk, talk to yourself. I am deserving of a loving marriage, of true love according to the order of Christ. And then mm. you begin to take steps in that direction. But if the change, and I must say this, the change begins with you. With you. you were saying mm. something Hallelujah. before I joined the live. Mm. That when you, you were saying about whether, when it's you that is the most important, be you were mm. whatever, I can't remember. Exactly yeah. How you were saying yeah. That. But I always say that, that when you shift, everything shifts. The, 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 the universe is waiting for you to decide. So you are mm -hmm. not that still decide. Would I tolerate exactly. this nonsense? Mm. Do I I want this or not? If I don't want it, so mm. what can I do? Mm. What will mm. I do? And then you go to God and say, Lord, what do I do? I don't want this. I mm -hmm. refuse this. I will not accept it. When you mm. accept it, and it's, it's first an acceptance inside, mm. and it now begins to influence your actions on the outside. And you covers up your right. And say, mm. there's nothing we can do. Mm. People just manage this abuse, I beg. There's nothing I can do. And so from the very first time, you begin to tolerate, 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 don't tolerate mm. abuse in any form. Mm. And that doesn't mm. mean that you have to be a, a lion of the child of, 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 uh, of your family. <laughs> be firm. Mm. I will take this. I don't accept this. I don't like what you did. Please don't do it again to me. You know, and then you also be a person of influence. Let your character mm. be blameless. Mm. Let people let people that this man go and tell your word about you. Let people look at you and say, where do where do where do you woman where they talk about? It? And then not even those people. Let God see you and say, I am proud of you. Mm -hmm. Because if God is proud of you and God sees you as blameless, whatever that person does will work against them, and it will just keep. You will just keep. You will just see that you God is just on your case, and God mm. will be fighting for you. And in that way, he can decide how he wants to do it. He can decide who he wants to use. He can decide what to tell you. But I'm going back to God. Because mm. God is the only help out there. Anybody that mm. wants to help you can only help you for a period. But God mm. is your ever-present present help. Time of trouble. On Hallelujah. My journey, on my journey, just to be able to wrap up, I say it, and I'm going to say it again. If I, if I am not with God... Sincerely speaking, to be very candid, honest, sincere, and every uh, synonym mm. of honesty. Mm. God, God is the anchor of my life. And mm. I'm so happy that it was God, and it is God that, that is my origin, my orchestrator. That is why on your live again journey, because mm. living again is actually life, living your life. And the Bible says mm. that mm -hmm. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the life. You cannot live again without God. Mm. You can go somewhere to take somewhere else, something else, but you see this my live again work. It is mm. God. In your live again journey, God is the one that sustains you in that journey. It's a very challenging journey because sometimes you are the first. When I say first, mm -hmm. the reason you are going through what you are going through is because somebody before you did not fight. Mm, did not mm, mm. did not say no to mm -hmm. a pattern that was mm. coming. Some of them buried their pain. Some of them, mm. I beg, let's just manage. As far as the man, they take care of me. Mm. What that did is that it kept a liability for you, and you mm. attracted the wrong man, thinking you mm. just wanted to escape. Some of you mm. felt, oh, let me just marry any her. Even if the man know, as far as he's taking care of me. Where did that mindset come from? You probably saw your mother. Observe mm. your mother. 
Or saw someone that said something that, oh, just manage any man will come. Nobody is perfect. How did that come about? Mm. So the pattern that has started, that somebody felt it was okay, you are continuing it. Mm. And because you have said, I want to go against this pattern. I want to do what mm. nobody in my lineage has ever done. You mm. will pay. It will be mm. hard. But guess mm. what? If you are able to succeed, according to the order of god in your in your mm. pattern of life you are mm. going to create a new pattern that those coming ahead of you will forever be grateful that there was a woman that stood against nonsense mm. not just in, in her life but in her generation and because of that woman they can also say no to nonsense and it just mm. opens up a new chapter that god mm. will be proud of so hallelujah opinion god mm. yes god does not like divorce but God does not want you to die mm. in, in the marriage that you are holding on to because of fear. Mm. 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 Wow. Wow. This has been such a ride. Wow. Awesome, awesome ride. We've been on this awesome ride for two hours and this, <laughs> this has just been something else. It's been out of this world. So any form of fire. <laughs> On the final note, <laughs> what's your greatest life lesson so far? Just one. Just one. My greatest life lesson. Hmm. If I talk God now, they will say I don't come again. But my greatest <laughs> life lesson is that let me quote a scripture. Mm. My greatest life lesson. Is according to Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. While we look not at the things which we see, for mm. the things which we see are temporal. The things that we do not see are eternal. Mm. I think mm. with everything I've learned in my life, one of the greatest is, is that things are never always what they seem. Mm. 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 There mm. is this is a this physical world is a virtual world it's not the real world mm. there is life is spiritual when i say spiritual i don't mean hey holy ghost fire hey martin on fire hey no i mean there is the the inside controls the outside the the yeah. spiritual controls the physical there is mm -hmm. an inside version of the outside thing that you're seeing there is always mm -hmm. the unseen even in the yeah. scene and it mm -hmm. is it, it, it takes introspection it takes becoming one with god it takes going back to your maker it takes intimacy with god i can hear your your child my, yeah my baby yeah he just came back in now god for you to be able to see the unseen so that you can discern mm. things mm. properly so that you can make the right decisions save the right actions and mm. do the right things at all times and it will really to reduce errors on your part because you would now see that life is not is deeper than what you see so that's just just mm. of time that's my, my 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 most you know wow my greatest lesson. awesome 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 wow 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 any from my Woo! 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 starting ovation <laughs> Fire for fire. Thank you so much. So where can we find you online? You know, all your details, you know, where can we find you online and how can we support this movement, the Live Again Project? This is my Instagram manager, Nico Mespeaks. Follow me. You can find me also on Lamb Tribe at Lamb Tribe. That's the Live Again Movement official handle, right? And then we're also on, on LinkedIn and Nico Mespeaks or the Live Again Foundation. Right. If you want to be able to 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 learn more about me, my website is there. Anyformer.com. You will see everything there. Mm. If you want to support our work, you can actually go to the link in bio at Lamb Tribe. Donate towards the shelter. We have rent every year. Our rent is one one million plus every year. So if you are a rent mm. partner, you can be a rent partner. Say every year I will give a hundred k towards the rent. Every year I'll give two hundred. I'll give five hundred. Or you want to give us the whole rent? please mm. give us. or you can yeah. actually different things we have need for 
for different things in the shelter. We don't even have a TV right now in the shelter. We don't have TV. Oh. I say, okay, you want to go and watch TV? Well, the idea of the shelter is for you to be a life-giving place. It's not just a space. It's a place that you come in and you should receive life. And that's a combination of different things. The environment, mm. the mindset that they have, the things that they can see. So it's just, you can actually support us. Just send us a DM at Lamb Tribe. You know, or send me a DM to know I can send you a DM for you to partner with us and then you can decide how you want to partner with us and then we'll take you from there. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, any for me for coming. God bless you. God bless, bless the works of your hands. Thank you so much for sharing so deeply and so richly. Wow, it's been an awesome journey. So uh, let me release you now so that we can close this because we have another speaker that is already <laughs> Another speaker that is already getting ready to, to take over the stage. I'm telling you, another speaker is about to come on stage. I'm telling you. Thank you so much. Sis. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Sis. All right. Bye. 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 Oh, God. Wow, that was incredible. Thank you so much for joining this live session. And until next time, it's Queen Billion and I'm signing out. Get to watch the replay of this awesome two hour session with any for me on my YouTube channel, Life Lessons with Queen Billion. And until next time, stay blessed and stay encouraged. Bye. <laughs>